All right, folks. I know I'm hair crazy. Everything seems to keep happening in the morning hours, uh, which is a little nuts for me since I deal with a lot of my children's school stuff then. But here we are, and we're talking about Game Explain again. Now, I said last video that I meant it, that I would not make any more videos about Game Explain until Andre Seegers, the owner, founder, everything of Game Explain, responded. And he did. He actually responded yesterday evening i was just too busy to get anything out uh and not only did he respond we have a whole bunch of responses to his response uh we have a whole bunch of statements now uh from other people including moderators of the game explained discord server uh we also have uh, a response from a current full-time employee uh and also some other part-time employee another one anyways uh that said something rather interesting before I get into Andre's response, because that's that's what we're going to call it, and we're not going to say it's an apology, uh, I want to remind you guys we are giving away a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch. Details down in the description or in the comments. <sighs> this, is, this is rough. Here we go. Andre Seegers. Statement by Andre Seegers of Game Explain. For many years, I worked with a group of talented and driven independent contractors on our videos. Remember, independent contractors, keyword there. We shared a deep love of gaming, and I'm forever grateful for their contributions as our channel grew from an idea to an incredible online community full of amazing fans. When these contractors, again, second time you use that word, chose to branch off to launch their own YouTube channel, I gave them my full support and to this day wish them every success. I was quite upset to hear their experiences because I consider them to be true friends and I hate that they felt subjected in any way to unfair compensation or unrealistic deadlines, often a result of adhering to tight embargo deadlines beyond our control. It's not beyond your control. You could just tell them they don't have to have the review out by the embargo date, which it appears he might have actually fixed since losing the staff but we'll get into that in a moment uh so it says uh it was never my intention as i respect those former colleagues immensely professionally and personally so he says i am not a perfect person and there are enormous challenges in managing a channel but i promise that i am absolutely committed to ensuring open communications a positive work-life balance and fair timely compensation for my team as we move forward and navigate the pressures of the gaming industry so my initial thoughts before i get into other people's responses is that this statement is a legal statement he is legally protecting himself. Now, it's notable you'll see people who can reply. Only people that mention, that, that Andre mentions, which he doesn't mention anyone. So you can't reply. You hit this, nothing happens. It says, who can reply? You can't do it. You can retweet it, of course, and do a retweet reply. Uh, but you, you know, other people can't read those replies. So literally, uh, you cannot reply to this statement. So for someone who in the statement says he commits to open communication he's preventing others from being able to communicate with him or respond to him at least in a direct fashion so this literally reads like a lawyer wrote it um he's protecting himself legally because these were some serious uh, allegations or serious stories that came out andre's not denying any of those stories by the way there's no denial there's also no admitting there's no apology there's nothing. Um, you know, he, he says, you know, I hate that they felt, but you're the reason they felt that way. There's no admittance of that. Um, there's twice mentions of them being contractors before he says, I consider them to be true friends. That's because this is a legal statement. This was never a legal issue in the first place. No one was accusing Andre of doing illegal activity beyond the whole pay thing and not paying on time uh you could argue that might have some legal ease that you could put into it but as long as he actually paid it is what it is but this statement is nothing but a, i am legally protected so we're moving on that's the route andre chose to go 
Um, he's dehumanizing himself. He's disconnecting from being an, uh, uh, a forward-thinking person and instead not taking responsibility, not taking blame, not refuting anything, just, oh, hey, they were contractors, which is kind of the attitude we were told the whole time. Now, there is one person who has been defending Andre. And that is Joey Ferris. Now, Joey Ferris uh, is someone that I have worked with. Full disclosure, he's been on my podcast before, the Nintendo Prime podcast. I think he was on last year for an episode. Uh, I have open communications with Joey Ferris. I have talked to him privately before. Not about this, because out of respect to the situation, I, I have not been reaching out to current uh, employees to uh, figure out you know, their side of the story. I'll let them respond in their own time. He put this up yesterday, basically right at the time that Andre put his statement out. Uh, or right before, I think it was. So his statement says, Hi, everyone. In case you don't know me, my name is Joey Ferris, and I've been working full-time as a news and features editor slash reviewer for Game Explain since October of 2020. It has always been a dream of mine to work in games media, and it's an incredible blessing to be able to do that under the Game Explain banner. I cannot thank Andre enough for giving me this opportunity to make a living doing what I love. That said, there's a narrative going around that Andre underpays and overworks his employees. From my experience, this has not been the case. I, I've had a lot of jobs over the years, and I've had to deal with a lot of horrible bosses, and Andre is not one of them by a long shot. Now, not only, not only am I being paid enough to support myself and my wife, but not once have I been pressured to overwork. As a matter of fact, I've been encouraged by Andre not to burn myself out on the job or take on more than I can handle. There was an instance where I wasn't able to meet a deadline for a project without working outside my normal hours. I brought this to Andre's attention, and he suggested I turn what was supposed to be a video review into a, a review in progress discussion, which saved me a lot of time. This was only possible because I communicated what I needed to Andre, and he's always been available to talk to which we have heard from others, wasn't the case before. This is just one example of the many ways he's been supportive and understanding. In my time at Game Explain, I've been nothing but happy. Andre has encouraged me to take time off for my mental and physical health and to spend time with family, especially during the holidays. I look forward to continuing to make content for the fans at Game Explain. I truly couldn't have asked for a better job. Now, this is fine. I'm not going to sit here and refute him point by point because that very well could be his experience i don't know if this is a canned response and you're going to get understand why i'm questioning if this is a canned response in a moment uh but hey it's possible that this is actually a good sign this could be the first real sign that andre has learned after losing almost his entire staff at the same time it's possible the reasons he lost them are well aware to him because after all they did bring up these reasons directly to andre before leaving and he chose to be better about it moving forward this could be actual positive evidence that you know, andre potentially could have even reference saying hey you know i have learned from my mistakes because he mentioned he's not perfect so he, he's kind of admitting he makes mistakes but not really admitting to what those mistakes are. Uh, and this could be a nice example of, hey, look, I am learning. This is the new staff. This is how I'm treating them. I am not going to go back down the path that I did with the old staff. But again, I don't know. This could be canned. And I'm saying this could be canned because of this. Andre asked freelancers to share positive experiences. He couldn't get enough people saying good things to share them alongside his statement. So this has been verified and confirmed to come from a part-time uh, person who used to work at Game Explain and says, I, did, I do, well, did occasional freelance work for Game Explain and Andre. Uh, he did message me a few days ago asking if I could share some positive experiences. I decided not to respond until morning wasn't going to participate, but he had deleted the Discord message by then. So it's like a notification on the phone, and then when he went to respond, it was gone. Here's the thing. Um, he's soliciting people to say positive things. If you have a lot of positive experience from your staff, you shouldn't have to solicit them to defend you. They should easily defend you without question, without asking but they're not. The only person to do so so far is Joey Ferris. Either Joey Ferris was also asked and is dying on that hill of supporting Andre, or Andre legitimately is actually treating him really well and possibly making him, you know, a full-time right-hand man kind of person. I'm not sure, uh, but whatever. He has got one one current staff member on his side, uh, but those are all current. See, that's the thing. 
it's possible Andre has learned and is doing better, which I hope he is. But that doesn't change what happened. Moving on, uh, we see here that uh, Steve's wife, uh, who liked a couple posts that were, um, uh, you know, basically critical of his response in a way. And I, I haven't actually looked at, at the responses. Um, you know, Ginger Bob, he says, like, Joey, I love you, man, but this is bogus. The statement goes on about your experiences with Andre and Game of Thrones without acknowledging John, Derek, Ash, and Steve's experiences. It's completely pointless to go on about what it's like now when the issue is in the past. Um, you know, he, and to Joey's credit, he says, I can't speak for them, obviously. Um, you know, I really want to believe this, but some of the things said contradict statements the former crew have spoken about for leaving. Again, this is about what happened in the past, not what's happening now. But again, I hope that things are going well for Joey. Steve's wife getting banned or blocked by him because she likes some post critical of him. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, but this is a mod of their Discord server. He says, all right, well, hesitant to say anything on this until more information came out, but seeing where everything is going and the statements released over the night, I feel I need to go into this uh, long thread important to those who know of my past history with Game Explained. I was one of the moderators on the Discord server, one of my most influential eras where I met so many people and helped me become a better person. I joined in May of 2018 and on request to John, got the position and did my part in helping blossom a community. Now, while this is all well and good, actually getting the server to be recognized was another issue. Andre typically would leave us hanging when we needed to consult him or not respond at all when we needed the staff. Others, such as Derek, John, and Matthew, were much more helpful in getting changes done, but it all had the issue of so much having to go through Andre, and the only reason we were able to grow the server so much was because we pushed about it, which made the whole process so draining. But it's not like they acknowledged our presence. We were typically ignored and made to be distant from the content you'd see on the main channel. Even though any of the mods could tell you that we were a huge backbone in the making of Game Explained community thrive. We loved the people and server. Andre would almost never check in on us, for better or worse, and as such, we just took it as we went. This all goes until 2020. As most of the staff leaves, you've probably seen that the story go around enough already. But that November, I left the server and stepped down as mod, mainly to take better control of my time and projects, though there was a feeling I didn't belong anymore. And in August, I sort of realized this on my attempt to set up a charity stream. I tried to contract Andre about helping out with it in the falsehood of my mind that I and other mods meant something to Game Explain, only to be put on read only even when I was told he would respond later. This is all to cement the word Derek gave out. But again, so please don't harass anyone about this. I've just had a lot on my chest about this, and it's a very involved part of my life. I'm just glad now i still have contacts with people from the server because they're people i truly care about and of course i hope the best for the new staff at game explain they're all good people and i hope things get better because it hurts uh that it came to this so andre again not taking care of his own community uh not supporting it telling the people that he'll do things and then just silencing them um pretty par for the course for all the other accusations uh we have espion here what an absolute lie and non-apology. For those who don't know, I used to be a moderator for Game Explained's Discord server, and it was certainly a time. I'd been less active in the months leading up to what recently and was already considered stepping down from the mod team. Derek's statement is what ultimately led me to decide to step down. Shortly after the Reset Era thread was posted and started gaining traction, which is a forum where a lot of the stuff's being talked about, Andre called an emergency meeting with the mod team by pinging us all in the chat and saying, Hey, let's do something wild. Okay, that's Andre. There was no indication that it was going to be a serious discussion before I joined the voice chat. In any case, this discussion gave me pretty bad vibes too. He kept vaguely mentioning one specific ex-member with his frustration in his voice, as if uh, they were the source of this or whatever, like the source of his frustration. Uh, by the way, he does not. John has not followed Derek and has not said anything to Derek in quite some time. He's the one member of all of this that that um, Andre is actively just avoiding, like the plague for some reason. And Derek, as you know, was one of the biggest people I gave explain. All right, he made no effort to say that he would take responsibility for this, and essentially told the mods, "Hey, you all are going to have to deal with this soon. Good luck." <laughs> wow. Uh, eventually decided to redirect all discussions of the Reset Era thread to the support channel because, you know, not allowing it at all would come off as suspicious. 
you know, like not letting people reply to your actual official response. So he essentially left the mod team to deal with a ton of messages all pouring into the same channel as he did nothing to address the problem that he had created himself. Before this all happened, I was frustrated doing a lot of things on the server because the mod team was given very little agency. Initially, we had to ask for permission to add, delete, edit channels, but we were eventually given agency over that. Things like changing the server's icon, the rules, etc. all had to go through Andre, which seems fine enough on paper, right? Except for the fact that he would take forever to get back to us. Again, more evidence of him not making himself available. Uh, the only times he really had a presence in the server was when he needed to. For a bit of personal story, there was a personal drama between me and a, n another ex-mod. Won't give names since that's not relevant here because they followed my private account at some point. But I soft blocked them because I needed to vent about how the mod team uh, was about to confront them. But their tendency to argue with other users. This culminated in the other ex-mod sending a massive message to my Discord DMs saying a ton of harmful stuff to me, calling me a liar things like that it took over a month for andre to resolve this situation eventually we asked other game explained staff members to help out and step in uh ash and john ended up taking a uh, talking to this ex mod instead of andre since he just did absolutely nothing to help i'd like to close out this thread by sharing another story and then we get to that please don't direct your ire at the new game explained staff they're all wonderful and i don't think they had an idea what was going on uh this is all on andre his statement apologizes for nothing doesn't even mention issues they had with them and does not provide any clear intention that things will change. Now, again, if we go off of Joey Ferris's statement, it does appear that Andre has changed and he has been um, going, bending over backwards to encourage mental health. And that's before uh, this stuff came out. So, again, it's possible Andre has changed. Okay. I'm not here to debate whether Andre's learned from this situation, whether things are better now at Game Explain than they were before. I sincerely hope that Joey's, Joey Ferris's statement was not one that, you know, that uh, Andre had to specifically ask, which the timing of its release makes it seem like it's something Andre asked for. Uh, but I'm hoping that it wasn't coerced. I'm hoping it wasn't influenced uh, like he was trying to do with some of the other uh, former staff members. But it is what it is. Uh, this is what, what we have to go off of. All I know is Andre's statement, if we just look at that on its own, is very, very telling for the way that Andre Seegers has managed Game Explain. It is very much a business to him. Okay. Now, there's nothing wrong with that because all of us that make money on YouTube, we're legal businesses. This channel is a legal business. I file business taxes. I have a business license. This is a business, okay? Now, not all YouTubers have a business license. Some of them run it as a sole proprietorship, which you do not need a business license for. You end up using your own social security code as your business tax ID, all that jazz. So basically, everything falls on you, and there's a lot of easiness with that. There's also a lot of risk with that. But we are all legal businesses because we make money, and we're paid by YouTube, paid by Google specifically. So that's fine. And if Game Explain is so large, Treating it like a business makes a lot of sense. You're going to have a team of people. You're going to manage that team. You're going to have payroll. You're going to have taxes. You're going to have business expenses, uh, all that jazz. You're going to have a lot of stuff under the sun to deal with. So treating it like a business is fine. But this was never a question of business Acumen. Yes, we could talk about the one to two dollar pay accusations. We could talk uh, per hour. We could talk about the overworking. We could talk about the laughing at them for their request to get paid on time on a on a timely schedule that happens on the same day. People begging to get their paychecks. Um, some people not even getting paid for nine plus months. You know, Steve not getting paid for nine plus plus months. You had John not getting paid for the same amount of time about nine plus months before he started getting paid. And then John not realizing that Derek, as an example, was making significantly more than him. And despite him doing the same amount of work as Derek and Derek not realizing that nobody else was getting paid. Like he thought everyone was getting paid around what he was getting paid. And that turned out to not be the case. Uh, they weren't getting paid what Derek was getting paid, which Derek was the only one getting paid what I would consider a reasonable wage. Not the greatest of wages, of course, for the amount of hours he was putting in, but still, he was getting paid a reasonable wage, and if everyone was being paid that reasonable wage, he was making about, you know, 
well, I think it was 60000 a year. Uh, if everyone was being paid that, I think things could have been a lot different, but that wasn't the case. Uh, and then when he offered contracts, poison pills, putting contracts uh, and stuff like that, that could have hurt people like Steve. So there's, uh, again, there's been so much information and so many accusations that have come out. It's baffling to me, just completely baffling to me that this is Andre's response. I mean, I'm going to look over to the side here and just look at it one more time. For many years, I worked with a group of talented and driven independent, con again, first thing he calls them is contractors. If they're true friends, okay, he later calls them true friends. If they are true friends, you stop referencing them as contractors. The only reason to reference them as independent contractors is specifically because he's protecting his ass legally. If he comes out and admits, I underpaid my staff, I overworked my staff. If he comes out and fully admits to this stuff, instead of saying, you know, I'm not a perfect person and there are enormous challenges in managing the channel. Like, he's kind of saying, I made mistakes, but I'm not going to tell you what those mistakes are. Because if he admits to them, there is a legal liability factor that could lead to him um, facing lawsuits. Now, none of the former staff members, by the way, have indicated at all that they want to actually go after Andre and pursue legal actions and get back payments or, or whatever for work done or work done they weren't paid for. It doesn't sound like anyone's even interested in doing that. But from a legal standpoint, this was written by a lawyer. Absolutely 100% written by, it reads like a lawyer statement. It comes off like a lawyer statement. It's very technical. It, it, it It's very much a, we are not going to admit any fault. However, clearly, you know, we're, we're sorry that other people feel like there was a problem. <laughs> so it's kind of like, oh, the problem's them, not me. Uh, but it says, we shared a deep love of game of gaming, and I am forever grateful for their contributions as our channel grew from an idea. So he admits that some of these people, like Derek, were there before the channel was anything. Um to an incredible online community full of amazing fans. Fans have nothing to do with it, things right now, but that's okay. When those contractors, again, chose to branch off to launch their own YouTube channel, I gave them my full support. And publicly he did. He told them all, he wished them all well, besides Derek. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he did sponsor like one of their early episodes of Today's News Tonight. So, um, again, he publicly was showing goodwill towards them, of course to show negative will towards them at the time wouldn't have looked good on him. So take that for what it is. I was quite upset to hear their experiences because I consider them true friends. If you consider them true friends, you'd stop referencing them as independent contractors. Look, I plan to, if my channel ever gets big enough and can afford to, hire a video editor someday to make my videos even better. And I, the video editor will highly likely be an independent contractor, like legally. But I will never reference them to their face or behind the scenes or publicly as an independent contractor. They are a person. They are a person that, yes, is performing a job I will be paying them for, but they are a person. Okay? So even if they, I didn't consider that the, the guy to be a friend and he was just like an employee, which technically, legally, independent contractors are not considered employees. But if they're doing work for me, even if, uh, even if they aren't my friend, I'll never reference them as just a contractor. I, I don't, I don't understand what Andre's doing. Um, I mean, I get it. I said that there was a couple ways he could have responded. He could have copped to everything, uh, said, said how sorry he was, and gave examples of things like Joey Ferris mentioned uh, that he is doing better now. Or he could just say nothing, and this statement is akin to nothing. It would be better if Andre never responded. This comes off as callous. This comes off as out of touch. This comes off as I'm not admitting fault, but I'm also not denying these things happened. So he's not denying. He's not admitting. He's just, hey, they were independent contractors, and I'm sorry they felt that way. All right, folks, that's all I got. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojans from the Tender Prime. 
Sad situation. I don't think we're going to have anything more to talk about unless Andre or you know decides to say something. Other allegations, I'm sure, are going to come out just as we got from the mod team. I'm sure there's going to be more and more uh, you know, independent people saying that they were solicited for positive commentary. I'm sure that there is going to be more things added to this story over time. But unless something major happens on Game Explained side or there's another fallout with the new staff, uh, or like if Joey came out and said he was coerced into his statement or whatever the case might be, unless something big comes out from the new staff or Andre after this, I don't think there's really anything else we can do. Um, and out of all this, Good Vibes Gaming is blowing up. In fact, I don't even know well, what's Good Vibes Gaming at right now. They were over 50,000 last I checked, but I have no idea what they're at now. I did not check this morning. They have been gaining like 5,000 subs a day or something like that. Um, but I'm actually curious where they're at currently. And yeah, they're at 55,000. That, 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 that checks. They're at 50K yesterday, 55 today, probably 60 tomorrow. They deserve all the success. I hope they pass my channel here in the next few days because they are way better content creators than I am, and I am not afraid to say that. Kudos to them. All right, folks, catch you guys in the next video.